water. It's a life force stronger than any other on the planet. Water is vital to human health and our ecosystems. We need water to survive, to grow our food and gardens. We need water to build our city infrastructure and to generate the energy to power it. Water is a force that drives domestic and international economies. We use water to move people and commerce from place to place. We use it for recreation. 97.5% of Earth's water is in our oceans. Only a meager 2.5% of Earth's water is fresh water, and less than a third of that is available for human use. How do we ensure that we have enough? How do we plan for floods and drought? The natural hydrologic system supports our lives, livelihoods, and the natural environment but also creates risk for human civilization in the form of extreme flood and drought events. That system is rapidly changing and increasingly is under stress. In the United States and globally, we face a triple threat. Population growth and economic development are stressing water supplies and increasing vulnerability. A changing climate is impacting water availability and quality, increasing uncertainty, and an aging water infrastructure is forcing critical, expensive decisions. Sometimes we have too much. Sometimes we don't have enough. These extreme water risk events often come with dire consequences. Water resources in the United States are complex, with two dozen federal government agencies and countless state, regional, and local entities measuring, managing, or planning for water. But the necessary expertise and capabilities to address growing water challenges do not reside within one agency or organization, nor can one agency tackle these problems alone. Our society needs more integrated and comprehensive water information. The need for collaboration among water management agencies has never been greater. The new National Water Center in Tuscaloosa on the campus of the University of Alabama will serve as a catalyst to address this national need. This state-of-the-art facility is designed to support collaborative water science, prediction, and decision-making. The center is a sustainable green building with LEED Gold certification. It includes a Water Resources Forecasting Operations Center, an Applied Water Resources Research and Development Center, a proving ground for transitioning research into operations, a geo-intelligence facility, and an airborne snow and soil moisture observation facility. The nation's water agencies will work together at the National Water Center to create a new multidisciplinary approach to generating the environmental intelligence necessary to manage our increasingly limited water resources more effectively. For the first time, a national water program encompassing everything from research to forecasting will have a unified presence. The National Water Center in Tuscaloosa will be the nerve center for forecast operations to help build a more weather-ready and resilient nation that is prepared for the water challenges of today and new challenges we will face in the future.